everybody for watching Source Talk Mopars. Uh, I just installed some disc brakes in the back of my 60A Dart, uh, and I used a standard master cylinder, so a disc front, drum rear, as most of you probably already have in your car. So I had a really bad issue with my rear brakes dragging and discovered it was because of the residual pressure valve in the master cylinder. Uh, and this is how easy it is to take it out. All right, sorry for the shaky camera. I don't have my stuff today. But essentially, I've already got it pulled out, but I wanted to show you just how easy it is. Uh, your brake line obviously connects right there. I just took a deck screw, something like this. Basically thread it into the center hole there, just enough to where it gets a, a nice bite. So I obviously already pulled this one out, but just wanted to show you. So I did something like that. Grabbed some pliers, just kind of grabbed it and wiggled it out. And when you pull it out, you'll get this. This is your actual mating surface for your brake line. Let's get this off here. As you can see right here, you wanna make sure you don't damage the mating surface. Uh, if you're gonna reuse it, this one's still pretty nice. But once you get this pulled out, then you get to actually address the issue, which is that residual pressure valve. So you get some needle nose. I actually ground these down for some transmission work, but you get the point. You get something like this. You just gotta go in there. There's a little piece of rubber and a spring. That is your valve. I can grab it here. Looks just like this. So that spring, this piece of rubber, this is what holds pressure inside the rear brake lines. So if you've got disc with this particular master cylinder or any master cylinder that has a drum configuration, you're most likely gonna have this built in. So once I've got this pulled out, I can go ahead, put my bushing back in, reconnect the lines, bleed them, and cruise around the block.